Hey guys, welcome back to Endless Travel with David. So this video is awesome as you can see from the title. I went in for a job interview. My first one, I have went through a lot of different back and forth with different jobs. This is the first one I, I, I found was legit. So I went with it. I went for the interview today. The whole interview process as described in the email is one hour long, about 30 minutes for talking, sit down. And the last hour you, oh, the last hour you do like a demonstration. I was lucky than shit. He kept apologizing for the suit. Like he kept saying it was embarrassing and I can respect that because the company has a standard to live by. But the demo part never happened. I, he did want to see like my lesson plan and I wrote it out on paper. It, it, it looks stupid in my eyes but for him he, he thought it was amazing because it was what he needed as a teacher there. So this video, so I did get the job. I was supposed to get the job offer here in the next day or two so I don't know what I'm making for say but it's, well, it's gonna be way more than I need which is nice. So that's why I want to do this video. What do you need to get a job out here? Um, for this one, it's, it, this company is a recruitment company, number five in all of Vietnam. And um, what they require is a TEFL. I, I'm assuming, I don't know what they really require. So let's go over what I brought. And I'm going to do a second video later on when I get all the answers. Um, I went in with my TEFL. He wanted to make sure I had a TEFL. The reasoning for that was he wanted to make sure I had an understanding of English teaching. It didn't really seem like he cared if I had it for a certificational based reason, but it was more of a reason do I understand the teaching of English compared to what else. So with the teaching of English, my experience before this job is none. I did some tutoring here and there. I did some programming tutoring, I did some one-on-one -on -one with math, you know, shit you do to like a study lab in college. That's really all I did, nothing major. Uh, I did in Portland hang out at the community college and help with some ESL courses is like a, uh, what would you call it? Uh, volunteering, sorry, I'm just excited. Volunteering, so I got, a, I got like three days of learning in there. What he liked that I said and I think this is a big part when you go for the interview and what you should focus on when you're trying to teach Vietnam's trying to get itself into first world status it's really trying to move itself and to elevate itself to a better position in the world and to do that it needs to be brighter has to be speaking English and it has to be more creative and the, the teaching that he was and this is something I brought up because this is how I've always taught people is you want to be you want to be creative. You want them to question you. This doesn't make sense, David. How? And then you answer this. So the lesson plan I set out was pretty much. I'm just gonna break it down quickly. The beginning of it, it's three stages. First stage is a game. I had the students pretty much name a bunch of objects. The objects you fill in the blank. I'm not gonna go into what I used. The second one. Second stage was actions that these objects could possibly do. So like walk, run, jump, hide, swim, yeah. The third stage, I put it all together where we put the objects with the actions. Nouns with the verbs, right? And we created sentences and we relayed them. These sentences were like four words long, like the X can Y. That was it. It's simple. And then the final part is I had the students in this layout that I wrote create an object, object X as we were talking about that they gave off in stage one, create, make one up, use their imagination, and then put 10 things that they can and cannot do. You see, so it, it really broke that in there. So that's what he liked. He liked that I was being creative with it. I was active with it. In the interview, I just kept smiling and I was excited. I asked him about his personal time and mine and at the end of it, he said, do you have any questions? Never. And I mean never. And this is something you just don't do in America. Do not say, no, I have no questions. Never. If you have no questions, like you really just honest God don't have one, at least just kind of smile and say, when can I start? But never say no, because it leaves dead air and you don't win. When I did interviews for an IT company way back, that was something that if, if I, when I asked, hey, do you have any questions for me and the company? Oh, uh, no. No, sir, I do not. No, David, I do not have any questions. You answered them all. As polite as you want to be, professional as you want to sound, it's not the right answer. Sorry. You just, you can't do it. There's no way to justify the word fuck is a good word. You just can't do it. You can put it in fucking flowers. It's still fuck. You know? So, and that's what it is. So, good job to me. Woo, got a job. 
I will be back in a couple days when I find out exactly everything I need. What I, what I went in there with was a TEFL, an associate degree, a visa, a dream. I told him I sold everything when I moved here and I gave it up. And it's all or nothing for me. I got I got nothing to lose. I've lost it all at this point. And, and I don't mean like I just I will only sold all my stuff and did what I did. If you see the prior videos. So that's kind of the the attitude I brought in there and it showed determination. And, and I'm a smart dude. And I smile. So thanks for watching guys. I said we'll do another video here in a couple of days once I get the offer letter. He's, he already says I'm getting it, so I'm just waiting on his compile it. And I'll let you know exactly the, the details of everything. If you guys have any questions or whatever's about the interview or you're about to hit one or you want to know where to look, let me know, man. I'm going to tell you something right now. I, I went through a lot of blogs. I talked to a lot of people. Oh, we'll find you a job. Blah, blah, blah. Honest to God, man, it seems like everything's a fucking scam. It's like mostly jobs are, well, uh, you can teach online from anywhere. Don't. Nine times out of ten, they're bullshit. Uh, you'll get a bunch of these YouTubers that are promoting, oh, I'll help you find a job. And if you're watching this, whoever you are, you, you, you few people will know who you are. I don't mean to be an ass. That's why I'm not saying your names, but y'all bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, and it's annoying that you guys leave me hanging. All three of you. You know, it just made me feel like you as a business aren't professional enough. If it wasn't working, say no. But how did I walk into the number five universe, recruiting university company and they hired me? Like seriously, the, the amount of money I'm making is retarded. I'm looking down, I'm just okay. I apologize, everyone. I'm raging. So, anyways, let me know if you have any questions. We'll go from there, and I will see you next video.